The Ryzen 7000 CPUs were the first to use the Zen 4 core architecture, and the upcoming Ryzen 7000X 3D chips will be the first to use 3D vCache in conjunction with the Zen 4 architecture. The CPU lineup is expected to be released in early 2023, and in this video we will discuss what to expect in terms of specifications, performance and pricing. So AMD introduced the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D earlier this year, a CPU designed to provide the best value and performance to gamers by leveraging something called 3D vCache technology, which allows AMD to stack large pools of cache on top of Zen chiplets, boosting performance in bandwidth constrained games and applications. The benefit was obvious from the start, with reviews demonstrating a significant gaming performance boost that even matched and exceeded Intel's fastest CPU at the time, the Core i9-12900K. AMD intends to do the same with the Ryzen 7000X 3D parts, giving gamers another boost that could potentially make AM5 the fastest gaming platform. So let's reveal everything we know about Ryzen 7000X 3D and let's start with specifications. So AMD's first 3D vCache CPU only came in one model, the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D. This time, however, AMD is rumored to offer more than just one CPU with the Ryzen 7000. Current rumors points to an 8-core as well as a 6-core variant, but even a 16-core and a 12-core variant are also possible. Currently, we cannot predict how many variants will be available, but if we see a full-fledged 3 dv cache lineup with four different models, there could be a 16, a 12, an 8, as well as a 6 core model. And we'll probably see something like this, a Ryzen 5 7600X 3D, a 7800X 3D, as well as a 7900 and a 7950X 3D. AMD may offer increased stack cache amount in the newer ships, but we cannot confirm this at the time. If AMD maintains the same cache count, the single CCD SKU could could have up to 96 megabyte of L3 cache and dual CCD up to 192 megabytes. Another point worth mentioning is the overclocking support. The first generation of 3D vCache CPU, the 5800X3D, had locked voltage options which could only be unlocked with certain motherboard vendors. However, AMD's ex-head of technical marketing, Robert Halock, confirmed that while overclocking was disabled on the 5800X3D, AMD may have future generation of uh, 3D vCache CPUs that support overclocking just like any other CPU. Along with overclocking, another compromise involves slightly slower clock speed which may still exist on the Ryzen 7000X 3D CPUs given that the performance from the cache more than makes up for the loss caused by the lower clock speeds. Let's talk about the performance. So AMD currently markets its Ryzen 7000 CPUs comfortably against the 13th gen Raptor Lake CPUs, despite the fact that the competition currently offers slightly better performance and value. The Ryzen 7 5800X 3D outperformed non-3D parts by up to 40% and an average of 15% in a variety of games. And if AMD optimizes the 3D stacked cache and makes it run slightly higher than the existing Cache, we can expect a similar performance boost. If the performance boost is similar or slightly higher, the X3D ship will be well ahead of Intel's 13th gen lineup. However, without any benchmarks, we are unfortunately unable to verify any of the performance claims. And so, right now, the best is just to wait for more information. Let's talk about price and availability. The most important aspect of the 7000X 3D Sam 4 CPUs will be the price. The Ryzen 7 5800X 3D was priced the same as the Ryzen 7 5800X, but it was released more than a year later. And by then, the Ryzen 7 5800X had already been reduced to about $340. So yeah, the price difference ended up being around $100, representing about 25-30% to price increase. So so with that in mind, the upcoming Ryzen 7000X 3D could end up being around $50 to $100 higher than the non-3D part. So with some calculations, we can expect the upcoming Ryzen 5 7600X 3D be priced between $350 to $400 
the 7800X 3D between $450 to $500, the 7900X 3D between $650 to $750, and finally the 7950X 3D could end up being between $800 to $900. Once again, the Zen 4 Vcash processors will be presented at the CES in 2023, so we're not gonna have to wait long until we finally get some answers here. Uh, in the meantime, if you are looking to upgrade maybe your current gaming PC or perhaps you're planning to build a complete new one, I'd recommend taking a look at my most recent Ryzen 7000 gaming PC build to give you guys some inspiration. you find that video linked up in the comments down below.